Hello, Talk Funders. Today, we're talking to Fiona Richardson from the Big Dance Company based in lovely Penzance in Cornwall. Hello, Hi. Fiona. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thanks. Sun shining here today. So, <laughs> Fiona, could you just tell us a bit about the Big Dance Company, please? Yeah, I mean, the Big Dance Companies, we're going, what's our 20, we celebrated our 20th year last year which um, was right in the middle of our lockdown pandemic. So <laughs> that put a bit of a stop on the celebrations. But yeah, we've been running for 20 years in Penzance. Started off as a, a little bit of a fun lo love project, really, in a little village in Cornwall when I moved down here. Um, and then we just started off with a few children in a village. And then we um, decided to enter a dance competition just for a bit of a laugh because we didn't really know much at the time. Britain's got talent. Um, and we ended up going through to the live semi-finals and suddenly the dance company, which was just for a bit of fun on the side, became national interest and everyone wanted to join. And we're like, oh my goodness, I need to now make this into a, to a business and not having any experience of running a business or even planning to have a business. It kind of organically turned into this incredible, incredible um, dance company. And yeah, it's gone from from being just doing a few fun dance competitions and we're now running professional mentorship programs. We do tons of outreach in the community. We do teacher training. We do international outreach, community outreach. Um, we just love using the arts and love using dance to make a difference in our community and to make a difference into people's lives really. So we use it in a really positive way. So yeah, it's a, it's a really, been a really exciting journey it's run by myself and my husband Ben and um, in my team is my family we all work together my son um, kind of run the business with me growing up and he's now very much part of the company and as his partner he's my ballet teacher and my granddaughter dances here and it's just it's a very much family family run business that's fantastic. And as you were saying, um, so that it's really just organically, can I use the word organically, sort of evolved over the last 20 years based in a, a small village just outside Penzance. And you sort of, you've morphed around by mo like renting or you know, performing and using different halls, et cetera, or buildings throughout, throughout the area. And then really in the last number of years, you really settled really on one building in in this village is that correct yeah well it came it came to a point where I was I was running a, a shop I had a job as well a full-time job and I was teaching after my job hours and then it got to a point where I was using we were moving all the rails out the way at night and I was using the shop at night to teach my kids things we were running out of places to teach and we found this fantastic building in Chapel Street which was then just like a badminton kind of hall that we used to use and it just grew and grew and grew and one day I just decided that I had to make the jump and decide I wanted to do this full time so it was a really big decision to make and um, we just went for it yeah and we've been using the, the building in Chapel Street for what, 18 years now wow okay <laughs> okay yeah. fantastic we had, little hall. we had like a little part of the hall which was re really was just blanked out into like a badminton court and then we started using another part of the building. Then we had an office and we've, we've, we've rent the whole building now. We've, we're in there like full time, Monday to Saturday. Great. And just before we look at, you know, talk about the crowdfunding campaign, can we just look at the different um, people who utilize the big dance company and utilize this, this local hall? So by the looks of the, the video of the crowdfunding campaign, it just covers all ages and all backgrounds. It's amazing. It's amazing. And the potential is even more amazing. But at the moment, we have ourselves. We're not attached to these groups at the moment. This is what we're hoping for. But at the moment, we've got us in there in the evenings doing the dance, the modern commercial dance. Um, during the day, there's a lady called Barbara who has a really massive following of amazing a mature age group. I think they're from around 50 to 80 years old doing the exercises. We have a children's toddler groups that use the building. And we now have a company called Shalau, which is a fully inclusive dance company using it as well. And we've got two or three groups that are just like praying that we get this building so they can come and use it as well. Because that's the plan. We want to make the, the arts fully accessible to everybody, which it should be. And this is a perfect place to do it because it's right in the heart of, of Penzance. Um, and it's, there's nothing like it. I mean, if you could see this building, there really isn't anything like it in Cornwall, I don't think. We have 
teachers coming from all over the world. We've got lots of sisters like partnerships with different countries. And when they come to teach at our building, they're like, my God, this is just so unique. It's such a beautiful spiritual place because it's all the original features. And it's a bit like the old Fame building. I don't know if you saw Fame. <laughs> yes, I'm <laughs> sure my age, but yes, I do remember <laughs> Fame. <laughs> it's honestly like that. It's just like when you walk in there until you've been in there, it's really hard to explain. It's just like home. It's just a beautiful beautiful feeling in there so there you go this is on so currently you're live on uh crowdfunder uk and i'll put all the links etc that um in the video description uh and it's a this is a great video i must admit i thought your video um was superb particularly this the young girl who didn't say anything at near the end who's <laughs> just did this amazing smile <laughs> I know that's Jenny. She's so cool. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I just, this. yeah, I just, I just thought it was lovely. There's your good self just entered just in it. Um, I thought this was lovely. This was about um, a, a mother whose children attend the uh, the classes, and you really helped this this lady get through a, a bereavement of her of her of her partner, um, the mother yeah. of the of the kids. And uh, as you can see from this clip. Um, Sorry, this clip here. Oh, this is the, the Barbara. lady, Barbara, <laughs> who does the 50. Yeah, you know, it's great. It's and then you've got the, I don't know the right, is these, this the younger teener? What was yeah, these are all my kids in their lessons now. This is this Becky, one of my dear friends who's danced with me since she was young. And she's now running a very successful company called Ignite You, who works with them. Um, challenged like adults with special needs so she's planning on coming to use the building as well she used to be in my dance group flavor so she's okay really doing it now and then this is some of the families who who come along and whose mums and dads who send their kids along to the um uh to your dance company and who really value it because it keeps the kids safe and sound and it really doing something very positive with their lives and i think and this is this is a lady here from america Oh, Annie McCritty, yeah, she's um, a lady we've been visiting. We we represent Cornwall at this huge dance event in, in Los Angeles. And she's seen the work that we do and how passionate we are about, you know, about the arts. So she's really behind us trying to <laughs> get everyone on our side to help support the building because she's seen it. She came to Cornwall and actually spent some time here. So, And so this lady is a, her dance uh, troupe or a company is based in... In Los Angeles, did you say? Yeah, she runs an event called Dance Excellence, and it's absolutely incredible. It has men dance teachers from all over America, and the dance companies come from all over the world. It's like a represent they represent their area. They present work on the stage, and they get to dance with some of the best choreographers in the industry. And we've been taking our kids there. I think the first year we took ninety eight people from Cornwall wow. to Los Angeles, um, and we've been going every, every year for like 10, 11 years now. We're taking children. That's what they do when they grow old enough. They're like, do we get to go to LA now? <laughs> we work really hard to fundraise to get the kids there and to experience the, you know, the thrill of the industry and to dance at Disneyland. They get to perform at Disneyland as that, well. And it's, that's so enriching for the for the children to be in that oh, yeah. sort of environment, you know. Travel, cultural experience. And I thought this was really, exp uh, I thought this was exceptional as well. This is you in the Philippines. Yes, this is what my second home. I'm in love with this place. So this this director, um, Shirley Cruz from the Halili Cruz Ballet Company, saw me teaching and delivering in America. And she asked if I would go over to the Philippines to help work with their dancers helping express you know the lyrical style of dance and choreograph some work for them and in turn I take my dancers with me while I'm teaching for them and my kids learn the techniques and the disciplines in Asia and it's just incredible we've got a great relationship I go over every year and take students with me to learn in the Philippines and they come to our studio in Cornwall and bring their kids to us this is this is this is it's amazing. I I, I love this. I mean, this is our global global community in action. Oh, it's just amazing. In the world, the world is such a small place. It really is. Yeah. When you look, I go to I went to LA and then someone from the Philippines saw us perform and then I performed in the Philippines and someone from Malaysia saw us perform. Then we worked in Malaysia, danced in Malaysia, and then someone in China saw us. So it's just and it's it just, is a very it, small world once you make those connections. And it's, and that through that you sort of organically grown by making more sort of global connections. Yeah, 
Fantastic. Yeah. So it's very much, <laughs> in one sense, it's very local in Cornwall and you're working directly with the, the communities around Penzance and all the kids, et cetera, and all generations, um, yeah. silver surfers or whatever you call it. <laughs> uh, and then and then you're all of a sudden you have a global out, outlook as well. So that, yeah. that, that's fantastic. Um, and I think I love, love this bit. This is just a view of the, the building oh, itself, yeah. which we can just talk about in a moment. Um, so okay. this is right in the heart on, is it Church Street itself? Is Chapel that what Street. It's? Chapel Street. Chapel Street. Chapel the Street. The joy of this is like anyone that knows the area is all the schools are based around the area. So climate for a, on a climate based thing is, which is really important to us as well is, the families haven't got to be driving in and out of town and putting the kids on buses and they can just walk. This is why we're so passionate about staying here because we could build or find something out of town, but then we're going to pull away for one, all of the economic value, bringing all these people down Chapel Street, the families will shop there. The children walk there from school. You know, there's a massive impact from, from us being having to move from this building. So that's why we've been so passionate about trying to stay here. It looks a fine. It looks like a fine, beautiful building. Uh, really it's does. Beautiful. It really is. It's beautiful. It's got a lot of work being done though. Don't let it fool you. <laughs> it's um, we're taking on a big risk and a big project, but it's it's definitely worth it. What, by the, the way, are these squares in the floor for? Is that a dance thing or something? This is COVID secure. So we we we've, oh. if you've seen our studio before, we'd have like fifty to sixty kids packed in these rooms, going crazy, hugging each other sharing the space and then pandemic hit us and it was suddenly right stay in your box <laughs> you can't believe oh really oh, yeah so that's we what had... they were i thought this was some sort of uh dance regime that the kids no, well, to... <laughs> when, we do, when we do events and things we do block out the stage but no this particular shot you're looking at now is um unfortunately the children's cages they have to stay oh in. okay okay <laughs> and then this is just an example of some of the kids to probably doing performance for the video etc which yeah, is, which is wonderful. Doing some improv, a few shots there of some of our um, our company dancers. Yeah, and again, it's um, you know we'll give the opportunity the, the the link to this video and your other videos as part of your campaign. Um, I'll leave in the um, video description, and this is sort of just summing up the different people in the video. And then I just love this at the end where you got the kids, the young, the young kids to really say why it was really special way to fi finish off the video it was it was lovely you know well these are our little ambassadors i mean these kids are like for them if we have to there leave she is them, they're sorry yeah. they're so <laughs> <laughs> these kids have still got to experience all this stuff that the older ones have done this they're like please let's just we need to stay here this is like their home so they're very passionate okay this so like dear friend lucas he's um uh, People that may have seen Lucas, he won Got to Dance on Sky TV and he choreographed like The Voice and Strictly Come Dancing and that now. And he has become a very good friend of ours because he we got him for a workshop many years ago when he was 19. And he, he's been visiting and we've become closer and closer. And we actually work on a lot of like mental health projects together. Um, and he's just bought a house here so he can be with us. So he's bought a house in Penzance and moved from London. So he's on our faculty now and enjoying Cornwall so <laughs> fantastic have it part of us great now let's just um go back I think we'll just like you're on just there it is crowdfunder UK so um let's just talk about the actual move on to talk about the actual crowdfunding campaign that you're at the minute is a uh, the title is please help to save our community dance studio and clearly from everything you've said Fiona it's a one sense a local community dance studio, but it's also a global community dance yeah. studio. And it's really enriching for all ages, all generations, all abilities. Like I have two left feet, and I'm sure there's a space for me for me Absolutely. when I when I when I come to come to visit Penzance. Um, so so <laughs> let let let's just now you've you've done remarkably well so far. You've got a as of today, you've got uh, just raised over twenty two thousand pounds. Now, what is that specifically for? Well, basically, what we set out to do was, because obviously when we heard the building was going up for sale, we thought there's no chance in a pandemic, A, are we going to be able to get a mortgage? B, we don't want to ask people for money because 
people just don't have a disposable income at the moment, but we're kind of put into the situation where we've got a fight to keep this. So we thought we'll just give it a try and we'll put something up. And if anyone can afford, you know, anything at all, it's going to help us to get a little deposit down to at least be able to go to a lender and say, we've got something, you know, because anyone that, that knows or anyone that runs a dance studio will know it's not a very profitable, <laughs> profitable business. It's, you know, anything that comes in, you're always investing back in. It's not something you just have, you know, a chunk of money sitting in the bank. So we we decided that we by doing a crowdfunder, A, we'd be able to raise awareness of what was happening. And there might be someone out there that's as passionate as we are about saving it. And um, we thought we'll see what happens. And look, well, look what did happen. We had all these amazing people behind us that donated this money, but also we had an anonymous, um, someone anonymously came forward and donated 40,000 into the project as well, who really wanted to see it saved. And then another anonymous person came forward and said that if you can't manage to borrow the money obviously because of the climate they would be happy to offer an interest-free loan to allow us to be able to go and get the building okay um so let's be clear the the, the goal of your campaign um is where is this lovely i'm just going to try to find this lovely building is you you basically want to uh purchase the um you basically want the funds will go towards the purchase of this lovely building right in the center of Penzance and right in the community in Penzance. That's right. That's right. Yeah. We want to secure it. We want this to be a legacy that we can have here forever. You know, it's, I'm just really proud when you look around town, when you see like the Warren's bakery, it's been there for a hundred years and just like all these legacies that are left. This is our plan. We've got all of our family members are really heavily invested in the community and our you know what we want to do in the in the community so it's something that will carry on when I'm gone my granddaughter's really into dance my whole my son and my daughter-in-law to be are all heavily into dance so it's something that we want we've got many children training to do their teaching diplomas as well so you know this is something that we can just keep handing down to the generations as they come through well, let's just finish this part of the interview um, and then we'll go into the, the backstory part. Um, so let's be clear, the the, the crowdfunder UK current campaign is raising funds to go towards to the purchase of this beautiful building on Chapel Street. So this fantastic big dance company, which is creating such massive value, immense value over, 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 the, over the years and then into perpetuity, I got that out. Um, um, <laughs> so fantastic. So how long is the, is the is the campaign going to be open for? Or well, the campaign stopped because we 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 thought we'd managed to to raise enough, um, but unfortunately it wasn't. Um, so we're now in a position where we need to be finding another thirty to be able to meet the guide price of the building, and it's actually on sale now. And I can't tell you. It went up on sale last week and it was the most awful feeling in the world. The for sale sign's just there on the on the gate, as you can see it now. And obviously it's very distressing for all of our kids and families driving by and seeing it. So I'm like, don't worry, we're going to do this somehow. So we're just figuring out now. It's on the market for another three weeks. So we're just figuring out now how we can dig deeper and see if we can just reach that guide price to be able to offer the guide price on the building. Okay, so what we need now in the next three weeks, so that takes us into middle of March, is it? Yeah, March the 12th. March the 12th. Yeah. So let's write, I'm going to yeah. write that down and I'll put that in the video description. So basically, dear old talk funders and everybody who sees this video, we have three weeks to really save this wonderful, beautiful building for the big dance company and all the hundreds, of, by the sounds of it, thousands of people who are connected with this locally and globally. So please um, click on the click on the crowdfunder link, which you'll find in the video description, and please help Fiona, her family, and clearly the community in Penzance to save this building for the big dance company. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Fiona? Just if anyone is watching that's already donated, we honestly can't thank them enough. And it's not just the money. Like We've had so much support from letters. We, we've been forwarding the letters, obviously, to, on to anyone that wants to listen from everyone, people that live in Chapel Street, people that live in Penzance, people that come here on holiday. We run summer camps every year and people come from all over the world to dance with us in this building. And it's just to know the support is behind us is as valuable as as donating money. So if anyone 
can just please just share the story if they can't afford to donate we're just grateful for you taking the time even to be interested and just if they could just share the story would be as grateful okay i'll just go back to the events please so thank you so much fiona fiona thank richardson from the time. from the big bass from the big dance company currently live on crowdfunder with three weeks to go folks so please help save our community dance studio in penzance Thank you so much, Fiona. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay.